Welcome to Supercomputing 2022 in Dallas. I have the pleasure to have with us one of the legends of uh, HPC, uh, uh, Jack Dongara, who has been awarded the uh, Turing Award this year. So a lot of congratulations for, you your, so much, for, yeah. the, for your award. So Jack, I have to ask you the questions. How do you see the future of HPC? Oh, the future is very bright. So there's a lot of uh, things happening in HPC. HPC is expanding to take into account uh, uh, machine learning, and uh, it's going to have a big impact on how science is done. So machine learning and artificial intelligence is going to be, uh, is having a big impact and will continue uh, to be a big impact on how we carry out science. And having the right kind of hardware and uh, software and algorithms to, uh, to do that is going to um, uh, make a big impact uh, in all areas of, uh, of scientific endeavor. I was at the, at, the, at the both where you were discussing the footprint of HPC. So my question is, how do you think centers will have to co will cope with this problem? Yeah, so uh, you know, the biggest problem here is, of course, uh, power and uh, power consumption. And having machines that uh, you know, are 20, 30, 40, 50 megawatts is really quite a, a, a drain in terms of the, the power, the, the, the budget uh, that the centers have. And something has to be done about that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what, what that is, but uh, it is a big problem. It's a big problem in the States. It's also a problem uh, in Europe, uh, and more so perhaps in Europe because of the, of the cost of things here or there, yes. So what would you tell young people to, to get engaged in HPC? What is the fun? Where is the fun? Where is the excitement? Right. So, so I would say, you know, follow your passions. Um, uh, go after things that, um, that are, are I, I always say to people, aim high. That is, go after things which are, which are hard to do in some sense. Expect to fail. That's part of research and the way we, we carry out our activities interact with other colleagues and uh, form networks to, uh, to get ideas and to build on other people's ideas as well, and uh, really just uh, follow things that, that you really feel passionate about. Thank you very much, Jack, and I really hope to see you next year in Denver. I hope so too. Bye for now. Bye. Cheers.